Hey friends, I'm standing outside of our church building along very loud and noisy Iron Needles Boulevard uh, because this Sunday, High View is opening its doors for our first in-person service. In case you haven't heard, um, our provincial government leaders announced that churches and places of worship are now allowed to open at 30% capacity. So we are looking forward to welcoming some of you into our building this Sunday. And I wanted to give you a little bit of a walkthrough of what you can expect to find and what that will look like. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you arrive on Sunday is make sure you check your watch. One of the restrictions that, uh, that we're putting in place in order to limit the number of people, the amount of time we're spending in an enclosed space is to ask that you arrive 15 minutes before the service and that you leave 15 minutes after the service is over. So once you've checked your watch and you've confirmed that it's 10:15, then it's time to go inside. Let's go. First thing you're gonna wanna do when you come in the building is we're gonna want to make sure that you have uh, registered for the service. That's one of the things that the government is requiring to make sure that we meet that 30% capacity. So when you come in, you'll be uh, greeted by a greeter and they will just confirm that they've received your registration. Have you received our registration? Yes. Great, so we're good to go. Once we've confirmed that we've received your registration, you will arrive at this little sanitization station. Um, you can sanitize your hands if you haven't already done so. And you're also welcome to take a mask. We are not requiring that you wear a mask for the entire service, but we do ask that you wear a mask for the singing portion. Mom. So this is, um, because singing is considered a high risk activity. You're welcome to bring your own mask from home, but if you don't have one, you're welcome to grab one of these disposable ones right here. One of the things that we're going to be asking you to do as you enter the sanctuary is practice social distancing. Now, if you have been outside of your own home at all over the past three months, then you're probably already really good at doing this. So there's some signs here just to remind you of what some of our protocols are but we want to make sure that we're staying six feet or two meters away from people who are not in your family. So um, let's go see what that looks like in the sanctuary. Once we arrive in the sanctuary, we're going to want to make sure that we practice social distancing. Now this uh, is a little bit tricky because of our pews, um, but what we're going to want to do is make sure that if somebody is in the same family or the same household as you, you can sit together. So we're pretending that Micah is in my household. Well, we're not pretending Micah's actually in my household, but uh, if Micah and I were a family group, we could sit together. We are pretending that Eli is in a different household. So we see he's sitting in a different pew there. Uh, we will have every other pew taped off when you arrive so that we can practice social distancing, um, not only side to side, but also front to back. When the service is over, we are going to dismiss you rather than everybody standing up and leaving at once. We'll dismiss you one row at a time, like you would do at a wedding. So Micah and I and our little pretend household is in the back. So we're going to go first. Let's go. We know that for a variety of reasons, not everyone will be able to join us live and in person on Sunday, either because you can't for health reasons or because you're not just quite comfortable to gather just yet. We will be continuing um, our online services, although in a slightly different format. Friends, you're doing great. These past few months have been really difficult. And even as we've learned and been really intentional about practicing good hand hygiene and respiratory hygiene, which I didn't even know was a thing until until COVID, let's make sure that we are practicing good relational hygiene too. Let's keep on loving each other, keep on encouraging each other, and we will go with God into this next chapter of what it means to be his church together. See you Sunday, either here or online. Take care.